Hey, and uh, welcome to the podcast for nicksmooth.com. Uh, if you're curious what this is, it's our blog that tells the story of Simple Mentoring and Mythos Project, which is a nonprofit um, started about. Uh, we started the idea about two years ago and really launched it fully in January. So uh, today, what I want to do is um, talk a little bit about my ideas on Synergy, um, which is a go to the blog at nicksmooth.com if you want to read it. But here's just a little bit of an idea. Um, the idea with Synergy is that it's teamwork, basically, and I believe it, miss, it, it is missing greatly inside of families, that families do not possess Synergy, that um, we have multiple parts operating in different little worlds, specifically teenagers that have their own goals, and then you have parents who have their own goals, and very rarely do they ever cross paths. And even when, like for example, they go on vacation, even inside of vacation they have different goals. So. It's important to have teamwork in a family because if you have teamwork, you build camaraderie, um, there's shared goals, that, and then have you see the people that you're working with towards those goals different in a different light, where maybe you uh, value them and their input a little bit more, uh, and you have something positive to talk about, because if you're doing your own things in your own world, you never get a chance to, like I was saying, cross those paths and talk about common things. So... Um, my suggestion is, if you if you read the blog, is you got to figure out ways as a family that you can develop synergy or teamwork and have some common shared goals. There always needs to be at least one person who's driving that goal, who's kind of owning it, and or at least exposing the need to it at first, and saying we need you know something that we can all work towards together. Families, interestingly enough, that do possess or um, show synergy often are the ones that are around sports. You'll see those families that create a common goal with their kid who's playing baseball. And this family has a goal where they all will make shirts, they'll paint their car up, they'll go to the games and tournaments. That's a good example of synergy where there's a common goal of we want to see our son win, which is great. And there's definitely benefits to families, but my suggestion would be um, there's better forms of synergy that produce better results in a family and more um, positive um, needed results and an example I give in the uh, post is using something like Compassion International or World Vision where as a family they adopt a child, designate tasks, who's going to um, write the child and they become a financial sponsor of this kid, um, who's going to raise what percentage, you know, this kid will donate two bucks in the family, this one three bucks a month, this one ten, parents uh, twenty a year and you create the common goal of let's accomplish this together and that creates something to talk about. Um, Families need goals based around morals and values um, because then it develops a greater conversation piece of something that's meaningful, not just um, good job on hitting your home run. So um, that's my thought for the day. Um, if your family is n- has no common goals, think about it. Um, most don't. And it would be important for you guys to start thinking through what's important to us and how do we as a family work towards making these goals known and accomplished. So uh, find synergy in your family. It's very important. See you guys later.